All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We are back in American Truck Simulator. Today, I want to look at one aspect of a truck. What you see here looks similar to a W900 Kenworth. Well, it not only looks similar, it is a W900. This is the free W900 from Pinga, from Pinga Mods. But that's not what I'm here to look at, because I've had a look at this truck before. If you want, I can go through and do a full review of this truck. But really what caught my attention is not about the W900. It was in my search for another truck. And I was looking for this other Kenworth, and someone brought to my attention that the free version of Pinga's W900 also contains this other truck. And today, that's what we're going to be looking at. Let's get into it. Pinga's W900, which is free, also contains this really cool option. You go through here, day cab, mercury, low sleeper, short, studio sleeper. I'm just going to go ahead and stick with the day cab. And when I go ahead and click on the chassis, you know, short, day cab, steerable, what? T800. This truck is actually what I had been looking for. I found a couple payware mods. I may do a review on those. I need you guys to comment if you want me to do a review of any of the payware T800s. There's two uh, to my knowledge. And if you guys want a review, I can definitely do one, but I'm kind of highlighting a free truck. And as I was looking for the T800, someone in the community uh, mentioned that, you know, you can get a free version of the T800 with Pinga's free W900. I didn't know that. And it is a free truck you can download. It's, uh, I mean, I don't really need to do a whole review of it, although we're going to look at a couple components. Um, it's really more... I had no idea that this T800 existed within the W900 mod from Pinga. So many of you might not also realize that, and that's why I'm trying to bring it to your attention, because it is a really good mod. So didn't I pick the... So I want the day cab, and then I want one of these. Maybe I'll just... Oh yeah, the short day cab, or I could pick the lift axle. Let's go with the lift axle. There it is. And it transforms into the T800. I like having that lift axle. First of all, all of these skins come with it from Pinga. That's the good news. The bad news is, with the exception of a couple, maybe that one, and maybe a solid color, most of these don't line up too well because of that sloped hood. That's because these skins were meant for the W900. There's just a huge difference with that sloped uh, hood so you're not going to get a whole lot of really decent paint jobs for this that might be another exception because that slopes down a little bit so we click on accessories this is not only a free mod this is the this is a t800 within a free w900 mod to get this many <laughs> nodes to click on is absolutely amazing um, and what I will also show you on the inside. Uh, I don't know what this changes, to be honest. Modern and classic, nothing changes for me. Maybe they, there was no intention to have any sort of change, but if you click on the interior accessories, lots of nodes. And so we can go ahead, we can do the steering wheel, I think over here. Basically, the key with this interior is all about the panels and coloring at different things. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick some random colors so that you can see what it controls. Um, main mirrors, so you can go with the regular mirrors or you can go with the doubles and the doubles fit across on both sides and have really good visibility of course you gotta love that Kenworth cutout really you know a distinct thing about the Kenworth but 
kind of wish that Peterbilt did the same thing because they just keep that all the way across and then you've got to be 20 feet in the air to see what's actually going on in that mirror. But there's lots of options that you have on the inside and you can go to town bumper, grill, logo, um, tires and rims obviously. Um, we can get that, probably get that out of the way, but we've got our light adapter so you can set down any lights that you want. Just go ahead and sit down, pick any of these. So we got lights, we got, do we have a horn? We do have horns. We can pick those, make sure those are train horns. Love the train horns. Um, and we've got beacons as well. Moving here on the back side of things, we've got some handles. Although I don't think we're going to see very much of them because we're going to put in a headache rack and you can add tons of lights to them if you want rear detail we've already done that um, exhaust let's go with the uh, the chinos hmm. they have any any that are they've got mitered mitered is about probably about as close as I'm gonna like I typically like just straight pipes but there are many to choose from in many sizes and thicknesses, so that's kind of cool. Um, that's the exhaust hydro tank. I don't know what that is. Is that is that a normal thing? Again, not a truck driver here. Um, trailer cables. We can make it a, pl a plate. This is something that you usually only see on payware trucks, really, where they allow you to recess the uh, plate. Um, let's just go with chrome right now on the back. I think there's another note over here where they are going to allow us to choose these other ones. Let's go with chrome. Go with the squared off one here. When we have mud flaps, we can go chrome Kenworth. I like those. I like the red ones for sure. Some of these options here. Some more options here that I don't think I went through exactly either. Um, chain frame. Oh, wow. Oh, so you can have mud flaps with chains on them. This is crazy. This is a free truck. And again, not even like a main truck. This is like the secondary truck to the free W900. You may have the option with some models to actually get another tank put on the back here. Although it's kind of going right through the, um, through the fender. So maybe we'll take that out. Or is there something where we can pick the shorter? No, that's already the short one. I think we'll just stick with that. Lots of options on this truck. I just wanted to show you that if you weren't aware of it, even people that may have downloaded the W900 and you didn't know that the T800 was here, now you know. I didn't as of a week ago, so hoping to uh, that more of you know that. We're going to take a little short drive now. I'm going to make one up myself, and I'll be back with you in just a second. All right, guys, we are back in the game. This is my build of the Pinga W900 slash T100. Let's just call it that. Looks pretty good. I got a headache rack on it. And that headache rack has additional uh, beacons on it. That's it, beacons. Uh, this trailer is actually a trailer that I've run here before. It is the... Manic Logging Trailer by Pister. Great truck, lots of customizations on it. And I just changed the color to match kind of the truck. What do I have in here? I think I've got I think I've got an N14 in here. Let me get her started. Our mission is to secure the safety of the American people, including you. Buckle up. Yeah, Morgan's back from vacation. This is Zmod's N14 Select. It's pretty loud in the rain. Go ahead and get some wipers going. We gotta get moving because we have to go pick up some short logs. The lights on? I don't know if our lights are on. I don't have any indicators in here. Yep, lights are on. And let's get rolling. Um, 
So not only is Morgan back, the 15-speed transmission is back as well. Last couple videos, rocking a 13 and an 18, started to get the shakes because I couldn't have my 15-speed. Well, she's back. Uh, and we got lightning. So, I forget the load exactly. I think we're looking at something like, uh... In 400 meters. Turn left. We'll do it, Morgan. I think we're... I think we got Turn something left. like 40, 45,000 pounds of short logs that we're running. We are in Twin Falls, and we are headed for Winnemucca, Nevada. So this is pretty cool. We got my shifter there, power inverter there. Um, lots of detail in this truck and lots of options. I went ahead and went with the 6x4 with the lift axle. I actually have a lift axle on the Manic uh, logging trailer as well. Oh good, it's only 16 minutes over there. So I'm sure it's probably going to be really like a half an hour. Let's see if we can hit every light. Looks like we will eventually... Are we turning left up there? Yes, we are. What's this guy doing? We have plenty of horsepower in this one. I think we've got over 800 or 800 exact horsepower. Wasn't sure exactly what kind of weight I would have on here. And I was just doing a test drive the other Deep day. Left. And then turn left. For a uh, hauling some logs, just like we're doing here. Turn left. And I got, I ended up with like an 80,000 pound load and I only had like a 400 horsepower. It was fine for the most part, a little start, a uh, little slow start, like at lights and getting through town, getting up to speed on the freeway. But as soon as I hit those logging roads, not happening. Absolutely not happening. Missed, all you got to do is miss one gear and then you're sitting there on a, sitting there on a switchback in low gear, taking off cruising five miles an hour hoping that you can get it going again not making that mistake so we have sufficient power on this one and we're probably going to need it because we don't have as much traction either due to the rain a little bit of an extended light here nope that's it give us a time to take another look at the truck. Went with the short tanks on this one, not the additional tanks. Uh, I could have got those additional tanks if I extended the chassis, and I really wanted to keep it a little short. In general, I like to keep it short, unless I'm going for like uh, like a long and lowered version, a slammed version. But for now, I'm just going with the shorter version. Better for turning anyway. Because if I get stuck here, well, first of all, I never want to get stuck, but it really sucks when I get stuck making a video for you guys. Because then I gotta chop everything up. I'm not just gonna have you go through watching me fumble around all all over the place. Keep right, and then turn right. And you know, I don't really mind you guys seeing me make mistakes. I'm not a professional truck driver. I'm gonna make them. Turn right. And maybe there's something that you can learn from them so you don't do it. But there's a difference between making a mistake and just wasting someone's time. <laughs> so I'm going to try to keep it, try to do everything that I can to keep that under control. And I usually only run into problems like that in confined spaces when I have extended chassis. So I'll run them from time to time, but I try to stay away from them when I'm doing a video. Because I never know what I'm going to get into. I think the rain just turned off.
Yep. No more rain. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, okay, so small size logs, Twin Falls to Winnemucca. And yes, 48,000 pounds. It's not too bad, especially for an over 800 horsepower engine. I think we're good. Looks like we're picking up over there on the left side. Can we pick that up? That trailer axle. Nope, didn't want to do that. That was the wrong button. I'm going to try to pick up that trailer axle. Here, it's going up right now. Maybe? Or does it not go up when you move? Oh, there it goes. It's up. And the uh, lift axle here on the truck. That's going up. There it goes. I'll have it up for just a second with 50,000 pounds. Even with an 800 horsepower engine, I'm going to want to turn that back on. Looks like a good pairing, that T800 and the logging trailer. Good visibility out the mirrors. I like it. It's so crazy to me when I can find a truck, a free truck, that has better visibility out the mirrors than some paywear trucks. Now, granted, there is something to be said for authenticity to the truck. And if a truck naturally, like in real life, has poor visibility or, uh, you know, compromised visibility, didn't really get that, um, out the back, then I actually credit the modders for making that authentic. Some people don't like it because they're just trying to, you know, hey, it's not functional, How I can't see out of these things. Yeah, well, in the real world, you couldn't either. Some people like the realism, some people don't. I happen to be one of those people. So, even though it is difficult, it kind of gives you an idea, since we're not truck drivers, what it would be like to drive that truck and the challenges posed, and then to quickly switch to a truck where we could see. Okay, I'm going to go pick up the load. I'll be right back. Okay, so I don't know if we had a choice here. Okay, so on the trailer, it looks like the lift axle already dropped. The Secret Service has your back, and so do I. Let's go. Try it just in case. I doubt that it's going to let me do that on the trailer. Oh, it does. It lets me pick it up, but we're going to put it right back down, and we can go ahead and drop it. We've got enough weight on here. I'm going to drop it on the truck as well. Ooh, that kicked it up another little bit. I'll start the engine from the outside this time. So you can hear that Cummins N14. I like it. Alright, windows are down. Four ways on. I'm actually going to start out in first. Probably don't even need to even... Uh, with this uh, horsepower, but I'm going to. Let's see if we can go the short way around. Just go out here to the left. I don't think that fence is, yeah, fence is even in the picture. We're good. Four ways off. In 400 meters. Turn right. Turn right. So, yeah, as I was saying, got the 15 speed again. In a lot of trucks that I've been uh, running the 15 speed, it was very common at the time especially the older ones that I'm running, to have a 15-speed. I don't think that the T-800 had in a 15-speed in it. Turn left. You can correct me, Turn left. those of you that know people that have driven the T-800, or you've driven it yourself, or you just have a little bit more base knowledge than I do, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say the 15-speed is not the type of transmission you find in the T-800 in real life. 
probably more than likely you'd probably find an auto automatic transmission. Or maybe you'd find like a 10 speed, I don't know. Depending on the setup. Like if one was set up as like a dump truck or if it was set up for... I don't know. If it was set up for like a concrete mixer. Maybe you'd get like a 15 speed, I don't know. Not, not, In not sure exactly. Meters. Turn left. You guys let me know. Here's that crazy road. Whoever was painting that was not sober. Turn left. So you guys let me know below. Um, have you tried this uh, T800 out Ping from Pinga's W900? What do you think? Is this something you guys are going to take a look at? I mean, you really don't have anything to lose. It's more, I'm doing this video because I didn't know about it, so maybe you guys didn't either. Or maybe you guys already have the truck. Let me know what you think. And let me know if you guys have any insight on any other T800s. Um, I did look at the, what was it called? It was at the GTM. Briefly looked at that. Um, that's also a free one and pretty popular. Lots of skins on the Steam Workshop for that one, but I haven't driven it much. Because right after I found out about the GTM, I found out about this Pinga version. But yeah, I'm kind of curious to, to know what people think also about some of the payware trucks, uh, the payware uh, T800s, the couple that are out there, if they're worth it or whether I'm going to be the one to make that determination. But that's up to you guys. So if you guys want to see it and if you're curious, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. And if you like what you're seeing so far, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell on that subscription, and uh, you can see all of my videos. I'm trying to put out two videos a week now. Um, I think it's pretty manageable. For a while, I was doing two, and then I cut it down to one because I felt like I was trying to put too much into each video, kind of biting off more than I can chew, and that conflicted with work quite a bit. And there was a couple weeks where I just said, well, you know, I know this whole, you know, making a video thing is going to be really hard and take up a whole lot of time. I just made it too complex on myself and made it so that it was very hard to manage that. Um, so I want to go back to the twice a week, but maybe I'm just going to take more manageable bites this time. Not that I know exactly, but I'm just going to come out and guess. It looks to me like you know, they put in the option here for a shifter, they put in the option for a couple more things, but it seems to me like, isn't this like the default SES W900 interior? Am I wrong in that? Is it just that they changed the outside? Which, I mean, nothing wrong with that. I wouldn't expect them, to, I already wouldn't expect to see this, to be honest, as a free truck. There's already so much there, especially compared to some of the other payware. But Pinga, that doesn't mean make it cost something. Let's keep it free. It's really cool. Thank you. But if he was going to go into any more detail. And and here's the, the crazy thing I was thinking about. Continue straight. I own, obviously you've seen other videos. Well, maybe you haven't. Um, I own the Pinga 379 slash 389. And that one also comes with like a dump truck chassis. It comes with a chassis f as a car hauler and tons of options just like this one. And I'm thinking that part of me should have said, huh, I wonder if there's anything additional that the W900 has. Oh, this is going to be that fast curve coming up. Get the Jake on for this. I've flipped a couple times here. 
for any of you that have seen any of my videos, you believe it. Didn't edit it out, just rolled with it, literally. The truck just rolled. Anyway, um, yeah, so I probably should have expected that the W900 was also going to have, like, I would expect, like, a different chassis. That would be cool, but really, the ping is uh, Peterbilt. That's a $35 truck, so that's a, already a really good value when you throw on other chassis for trucks. I wouldn't have expected that a free truck like the W900 was going to include a T800 version. Just wasn't thinking about that, man. It was really just about the cost. Um, free, mainly. <laughs> so, but someone else in the community, uh, Cappy the Barra, let me know. Hats off to Cappy uh, for giving me the info. And he is the reason why we have this video today. Love that, Jake. In 400 meters, turn right. Turn right. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was should have made that shift. Now I'm regretting it. Now I'm regretting it. Oh, is he going to let me in? Nice. He had to slow way down for that. I screwed it up. Speaking of screwing it up, we've got a range knob, huh? Now i got to go down to the low range to build the speed again. I always hate doing that in real life, messing up and making someone slow down. I know it's just a game. It's not a real person driving, but I'm still going to try to keep it a little bit realistic. Screwed up, so now I need to get moving. We got 75 now. And I'm already over 70 because of that hill. It's pretty nice. I can tell because she's bouncing all over the place. She is a little bit more unwieldy than she was when I was driving 55. They stopped up here. full Jake to come to a stop. I was going over 70. Legally. I think normally they give you a little bit more heads up. Just because the map is so compressed. You don't have very, uh, very much time to slow down. Especially with what we're, I'm sure we're probably 85,000 pounds total. I mean, the load's only 48,000, but the truck and trailer, too. So we got about two hours, five minutes game time. I'm going to get some exteriors, and then I'm going to kind of speed up till we get to the end. You don't need to see this whole drive, and I'll be back with you in just a second. Alright guys, we are off the freeway and we've got seven minutes. We are officially in Winnemucca. Got some prefabbed homes over here. We'll be pulling in around two o'clock then. Not bad. In 
400 meters. Turn right. Turn right. Welcome to ADM. You've it's been my honor and duty to see you through this mission. Thank you, Morgan. Much appreciated. Lined up pretty nice. Should be pretty simple. Four ways on. Hit the horn. This trailer's pretty easy to back up. Pretty responsive. Bit too responsive, actually. Because I didn't make that correction fast enough. Oh, I'm so far off the line. Let's get back over here. How about we take our time and see if we can actually get it between the lines this time? That's looking pretty good. We will take it. Full is off. Windows up, lights off. And she's shut down. Welcome to Winnemucca and this ADM, where we're going to drop off some short logs. If you guys like this episode, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing, hitting the notification bell so you see all my videos. If you have any questions or comments about this truck, or about the trailer for that matter, um, I do have another video where I talk more about the Manic logging trailer. But this one's all about the T-800. It's all about Pinga and uh, giving us a free truck within a free truck. You cannot beat that value, especially for all of the customization that you can do to this truck. If you haven't already, check it out. Go download it. Again, cost you nothing. And uh, that's about it for now. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.